Hello and welcome to the channel. Um, recently I went out and I bought these, the Gerbein heated gloves. This is the XOR version and the big question is, are they any good? Well, let's find out. But first, roll the credits. everybody welcome to the channel um, today we're out and we're continuing the testing of the Gerbein XR heated gloves um, we're out on the Mullenkent tyre trail and it is absolutely chucking it down I've got about five hours to go to home so I'm going to wear these babies all the way through and let's see if they're waterproof like it says on the label I'll let you know as soon as I get back home how they fared Okay, so here we are back at the home ranch. Um, I'd just like to apologise if you can hear cows in the background. Uh, we live on a farm and cows are being moved from one location to another, so and they're making a bit of a racket. Um, so we were on the road with these babies, the Gerbein XR gloves. Now these aren't the GT, the long ones, they aren't the short, they're the mid-range ones. What do I think of them? Well, first of all, Yesterday when I put these on, I mentioned that it looked like I was going to have heavy weather. I rode home literally seven hours in torrential rain. It was that bad at one point I thought I was going to have to stop because I just couldn't see where I was going. I've been riding 30 years and that's some of the worst rain I have ever rode in and it was relentless for seven hours. So how did these stack up? Well, first of all, they kept my hands dry. Um, it was a blessing that I put these on to trial them because on the way home the fuse went in my hot grips and I had no hot grips so um, if I hadn't got these on I would have suffered. So from that comment you could tell that I think they work quite well. Um, the waterproofness of them, it's a strange one, they do wet out. When I took the gloves off I and felt them with my skin I, I was quite amazed because they felt absolutely soaking wet. However, inside, my hands were bone dry. So they do wet out, they do become waterlogged, but in seven hours in torrential rain, none of that water got through the waterproof membrane. Um, the heated side of things, I'm gonna have to wait out and give you uh, another review on how they heat. Um, it's the first time I used them. I plugged them into my heated liner jacket and uh, I pressed the button and I couldn't get them work. When I first initially plugged them in, they did light up, but I haven't read the instructions, I'm a typical bloke, and I was pressing the button and I, I couldn't seem to get the heat to come on. Um, I've since come home and looked at the instructions and you have to do a long press to actually activate them. So I need to go out and, and test the, the warm side of them. The downside of the glove, um, it's not so much with the glove, um, as you can see there are little cables that come out of the glove and you either have a cable that you put inside your jacket and connect to your battery or if you've got the Gerbein heated jacket there's a little zip on the side of the cuff that you unzip and you pull a cable, connecting cable out and you just connect it to the jacket. This all sounds well and good but unfortunately the connecting cables on the jacket or if you want to say on the gloves there's not enough cable it's very very difficult to connect them underneath your, your jacket so i don't know whether that's a fault on the gloves or the jacket but either way one of the two items need longer cables and when you think how much you spend how much these gloves cost and how much the jacket costs i think that's a pretty poor show from gaming and it really lets them down because everything else is really good quality um, the stitching is absolutely faultless, the leather is nice and soft, uh, you've got grip pads on the palm of the hand, you've got the obligatory uh, velcro strap around uh, the wrist to secure it so if you come off your motorbike it's not going to rip off as you slide across the floor. Um, it's got the scaphoid protector which is a nice touch and it's got a hard um, knuckle protector on the back. 
Inside, nice and plush, nice and fleecy. It feels very soft, it feels very well padded without being too padded. You know, you get some gloves where you put on and you can't move your hands, you can't feel anything. Um, also has a visor wipe on the thumb, which <laughs> that was a godsend yesterday. I used that so many times, it's a wonder I haven't wore it out. But on the whole, I really like them. They're really, really nice gloves and I'm hoping now I've read the instructions that you know the heated side of it is going to be good also so um, are they worth it I can't say yet because I haven't used them properly due to my own stupidity um, but hang fire come back uh, stay tuned and I will have an update on how warm the gloves are okay so uh, I'm just out on a run and as you can see we're losing light and it's getting pretty cold so um, what I'm going to do now I've got the heated jacket on I've just plugged everything in I'm going to plug these babies on and see what they are like how much warmth they get give out I'm going to leave the heated grips off and see how we go on so as you can see first thing you have to do is take out the cables and as you can see the gloves light up when you make the connection okay so one long press and that is the first setting one long press that is second one long press and when it goes red that is on the highest temperature and already I can feel the heat it's very nice. Again, long press for one, long press for two, and long press for three. And when they're on red, you know they're on full. So we'll see how we go with them. They feel very nice, they feel very snug at the moment. So we will see how we get on with them. Okay, so um, I've got the gloves on. And best way I can describe the heat is um, if you imagine you've got really cold hands and then you place your hands under your arm against skin and you get that lovely warm feeling that's about the type of heat that you get from the gloves on the high setting um, another way of describing heat is if you have hot grips the setting in between about 50 and 75 percent on uh, the Oxford hot grips that is the same type of heat level that I'm experiencing on the back of my hands and on my fingers at the moment. Um, I'm riding it along tonight, the temperature is 5.4 degrees, um, it's ranging from 5.4 to about 6.2 depending on the elevation of the land. Um, I haven't got the hot grips on and my hands are absolutely lovely and warm and toasty. Um, I should imagine on a really cold day these combined with hot grips would be absolutely amazing. Um, they're really comfortable gloves to wear while you're riding along. Um, but one of the things that I would say is that there seems to be a little bit of excess room at the end of the fingers. So when you're activating buttons on your uh, handlebars um, it can be a bit fiddly because the, the feel isn't there. However, the tips of the fingers are um, the type of tips where you can actually use touch screens with the gloves on. So that is an added bonus. Um, would I say that these gloves are worth the money? I would have to say definitely yes. Um, I would advise going out and buying the 50 centimetre extension cables um, just for ease of fitting them into a heating jacket into the cables uh, you get with the gloves because the cables are really short. Um, other than that, yeah, very happy, very cosy, very toasty, really nice gloves to ride in the cold. Okay, so that concludes the review for the Gerbin heated gloves. To summarise, at first when I first put them on and I tried to attach them to the jacket um, I did have loads of problems as already mentioned with the cord being very very small on the jacket however even taking this into account 
I still think that these gloves are absolutely brilliant. Um, definitely worth the money, um, especially if you're into your touring. Perhaps I wouldn't use them so much if I was just doing a commute where it's 20 minutes, 15 minutes, because your hands aren't going to get that cold, and I think hot grips would suffice, and they are an easier option. However, if you're into touring or you have long commutes and you ride all the way through winter, I think these gloves are absolutely perfect for that type of riding. Well, um, I hope you've enjoyed the review. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Ding the notifications bell. It doesn't cost a penny, everything's free. All that's left to say is bike rider reviews out.